Menashe Skolnik was a Yiddish actor from New York, and he was best known as a kind of a, either a Buster Keaton or Charlie Chaplin kind of character in terms of the kind of uh, acting and co comic uh, uh, persona that he had. And Skolnik made repeated visits to Argentina, and his first visit there was in 1928, which is uh, when the activities that he described in his memoir uh, took place. His memoirs were published in installments in the uh, Forverts, the Jewish Daily Forward in 1963 in New York. And in one of these installments, he describes his sightseeing visits to brothels in Buenos Aires and also Rio de Janeiro. And his recollections, Skolnik's recollections of his visits to the red light districts of Buenos Aires and Rio de, Je Rio de Janeiro were published in the April 21st, 1963 issue of the Forwards. And he was writing about his first trip to Argentina and Brazil, which took place 35 years earlier, back in 1928. Before I went to Buenos Aires, the actors scared me. They told me I would have to play in front of a crowd of pimps and prostitutes. This was true once upon a time, several years before I came there. But in 1928, the unclean or impure elements, to mayhem, as they used to call the pimps and the streetwalkers, were no longer tolerated in the theater. Indeed, in the past, this element sustained the Yiddish theater. And without them, the Yiddish theater could not exist. They used to buy up the best seats in the theater. They were, in other words, the best and most important customers in the theater. The pimps often bought up all the seats in the theater and didn't let in any decent people. They began to dictate the repertoire and only the pieces they demanded could be put on. It's true that they were well paid for it, but the decent men began to avoid the theater. No upstanding man would want his wife to sit alongside the streetwalkers. The Yiddish press began to raise a fuss and it led to a very powerful campaign. The actors helped them with this campaign. Until the Temeim, the impure elements were driven from the theater. They were simply forbidden to come in, inside the theater. On every poster and at every theater box office, there was a sign written with prominent letters, entrance forbidden for impure elements. The theater manager once took us along to show us this industry of disrepute outside the city. Just as on every block there's a grocery or a candy store, so too on every block there was a house with a red lantern outside. This red lantern was the sign indicating what kind of house this was. One day I summoned up my courage and decided to go into one of the houses with the red lantern and see with my own eyes what it was all about. I didn't need, God forbid, to knock on the door. The doors, swinging doors, were open. The doors didn't rest, like bees. All kinds of men were constantly coming in and out as if from a tavern. I came across an ordinary parlor. 10 or 12 men were sitting or standing there. And then a side door opened and a man emerged and then left right away. And a young woman in a negligee entered. And she asked in a loud voice, who's next? Just like in a barber shop. The man who was next got up and disappeared with her. In the parlor, a large caption written in Spanish said that the establishment is open every day from one in the afternoon until two in the morning, except Mondays. Yes, at that time, this was the largest and only industry in the country, not only in Buenos Aires, but in every city and town in Argentina. The last time my wife and I traveled to Argentina on vacation, was in 1950. By then, there was no longer any trace of what I've described. Prostitution is now banned, just as it is here in New York. And now, the time came for us to leave Buenos Aires. Our 10 weeks passed quickly, and I must confess that I felt it was a pity to leave. The management, the actors, the public, and the Yiddish press were so kind to me, I had never had such good fortune in America. And that's why I'm grateful to the city, Buenos Aires, because this city, 6,000 miles from New York, 
made me a star.